What's going on guys? Today we have to talk about a couple of things that Microsoft looks to be doing in the near future, in particular regarding Windows 11, that I can't help but feel like are really crappy moves to make. The first one here coming from Tech Radar is this. Windows 11 will soon be closed off to anyone without an internet connection. And of course, I will link to this article in the description, but I'm basically just going to tell you what's going on here. So up until now, effectively, you could get away with installing Windows 11 on your device of choice without an internet connection, so long as you chose Windows 11 Pro. Now, if you are using any other version of Windows 11, you'd have to sign into your Microsoft account, thereby needing, necessitating, an internet connection. And I know this is not a huge problem for most people because most people do have an internet connection, but no, not everyone in fact does have an internet connection on their computer. Lots of people have cell phone service, but no local internet. I guess they could tether, but then that's gonna take up data while this is going on. It just adds complication. And in particular for IT professionals, people who are deploying devices into the field to multiple users, a lot of the time, they don't even want these things connected to the internet in the first place. These things are being used for other sorts of things, wherein the internet is not something that they're going to be using. And Microsoft is just effectively going to get rid of this entire ability because now in the latest preview build, Windows 11 Pro now also does require an internet connection. So regardless of what build of Windows 11 you want to use, you have to make a login with Microsoft and you have to sign in to complete that installation. Another instance where I find this to be kind of annoying is if you're the kind of person who likes to do testing. You like to install this OS on different pieces of hardware. You have maybe a test bench. Actually, like the author of this article here wrote, they have a test bench in the lab and they use Windows 11 Pro, they say precisely because they can install without an internet connection. It makes that process much more quick and just generally far more convenient to do. I think my biggest hang up simply comes from Microsoft or anyone else saying, hey, here's this thing you've been doing for years and years and now you absolutely have to make an account with us to continue using the thing you've already been using. I know it's Windows 11, it's a newer version. I know that this is well within their rights to do, and I know that most of us already have a Microsoft account, but still some reason in the back of my head, anytime you tell me I have to make a new account for something, it's like when I use my Oculus Quest and I had to make a bogus Facebook account in order to use it, that irritates me. And this sort of feels weirdly similar to that to me. I don't like it. But of course, a lot of people aren't going to upgrade to Windows 11 because their hardware isn't supported. And some of those people with unsupported hardware may try and find a way to go ahead and install anyways, and they may be graded with something really, really annoying. Here from The Verge, Microsoft is testing a Windows 11 desktop watermark for unsupported hardware. I hate this so much. This is terrible. Let's talk about what exactly we're saying here. So Albacore here on Twitter reported this setting earlier in the month, and what it's going to be is this. You see down here, system requirements not met Windows 11 Pro. What this means is if you have a computer that does not officially support Windows 11, that, that your hardware spec is not up to snuff according to Microsoft, and you install Windows 11 anyways, you're going to have this watermark down there all the time. Now, Microsoft has a similar watermark for unactivated Windows accounts, and that watermark actually displays on top of everything. So you're playing a game in full screen, that watermark is always down there. And it looks as though they are talking about doing the same thing for people who just simply chose to install Windows 11 on hardware that they didn't think was good enough, despite the fact that it objectively is good enough. So they're effectively applying artificial constraints to the new operating system and then trying to annoy you into buying new hardware that officially supports outside of their artificial constraints their new operating system. This sucks. And it's just so completely transparent. Like we all know exactly what you're doing. You're you're admitting, yeah, our, our software actually does run just fine on your computer. Like there's actually no problem, but we do want you to buy new hardware from our partners. So we're gonna try to annoy you so much that you eventually just give in 
and spend the money that we want you to spend. Hopefully this is only something that's actually on your wallpaper and isn't actually gonna sit over top of everything because that is so much worse and so much a crappier thing for Microsoft to do. Maybe Microsoft just realizes this is ridiculous and they just don't do this dumb thing that they're thinking about doing. But hopefully, even if they do, there's some workaround. Somebody comes up with a way to, to break this dumb thing and make it go away. At any rate, a couple of rather dumb things I feel like Microsoft is doing. Two, two things that they really have no reason to be doing that only makes the lives of their own users a little bit more difficult and a little bit more annoying. Microsoft, do better. This is stupid. Guys, thanks for making it to the end of today's video. Thanks for hitting that like, share, subscribe, all of those buttons. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.